on my desk right now is a really large laptop, but still relatively thin. This is the MSI Stealth GS77, and as you can tell, it's a 17.3 inch behemoth of a gaming laptop, but a really capable one at that. Let's take a look at this. It's been a while since we've taken a look at an MSI laptop, and I've got to say that their design has really improved drastically. Now, MSI is still primarily gaming focused, but safe to say their designs aren't as outlandish as before, which in our opinion is so much better. The new Stealth GS77 is now much more minimalistic, and as its name suggests, much more stealthy in nature. You're getting a clean, angular design that's made entirely out of CNC aluminum, and comes in at just about 20.8mm thin while weighing around 2.8kg, or about 6.2 pounds. The only thing that would really stand out would be the MSI logo on the lid, but that's about it. Overall, a really clean design, and I like it quite a fair bit. As MSI puts it, this is a crossover laptop for both gaming and professional use, and we can definitely see that. Open up the lid and you get that huge 17.3 inch display. There are mainly three different panels to choose from. Full HD at 360Hz, Quad HD at 240Hz, and a 4K UHD at 120Hz. We have the middle option here, so you're getting a resolution of 2560 by 1440 at 240Hz, it's an IPS panel, covers 100% sRGB, and hits a max brightness of about 350 nits or so. Honestly, we have no qualms about this display, and out of the three options available, we reckon that this one, the Quad HD option, is the best fit for a 17.3 inch display. For a start, you needn't require too much graphics horsepower to run your games, and secondly, it plays nicely with window scaling. You can use it at 100% window scaling with no issues, making full use of the actual resolution, whereas on 4K, you would usually need to scale 125% or 150%. And in contrast to 1080p, it's going to offer much better clarity while still being relatively fast at 240Hz. All in all, it's a great display to use to really enjoy any kind of content that you want to do on it, or perhaps even like just multitasking, browsing, documents, and as such. But perhaps especially gaming, because this is where this laptop is best at. Up top, you do of course get a webcam that's capable of a 1080p image, and as you can tell, it's not too bad, definitely above average. If you're going to use this to talk with your colleagues over Zoom, or perhaps with your friends over Discord, it's going to do you fine, so no worries about that. In any case, the best feature is still definitely Windows Hello, so that's a nice touch. There's also a webcam lock switch located on the left side to disable the webcam for your privacy. Now as for the keyboard, this is where things get a little perplexing for me. It is a great keyboard, no doubt about that, and as usual for MSI, this was in collaboration with SteelSeries, so you do get all the fancy RGB and customization and more. But what has me questioning is this one key right here. For some reason or another, MSI has decided to add another pipe key on the bottom row. I don't get this. I seriously don't. In addition, the font for the comma is a little ridiculous. It's far too large and looks like an italic number one. The pipe key though, I still don't get it. Perhaps you guys can think of a better reason. Let us know in the comment section down below. In any case, it's still a great keyboard, and for those of you who require a numpad, it's there too as well. Trackpad wise, it's fine, no qualms about it, but it definitely isn't the best I've tried, but it is of a good size for a 17.3 inch device. As for speakers, there's actually 6 speaker setups in this laptop, courtesy of Dyn Audio. According to MSI, there are 2 pairs of dual force cancelling speakers and a pair of tweeters to make up the 6 speaker setup, all of which can be found in the 2 corners, firing up and down. They do sound pretty great, plenty of volume and vocals are clear and crisp. The mids are definitely the strong point, and most music will be enjoyable to listen to. Bass is still a little lacking for sure, given the lack of depth in terms of actual physical space. But even so, this is definitely one of the better audio experiences that you can get from a laptop. Now one of the biggest highlights with this laptop has got to be the battery. It has a 99.9 watt hour battery inside it, and if you didn't know, that's basically the maximum legal limit that you can carry on board a plane for a device with a built-in battery. So with that said, don't expect the best battery life out there. For our testing with mixed usage on the balanced power profile, we got about 6 hours or so, which isn't too far from other gaming laptops with smaller batteries. Now for ports, there's actually quite a lot to go around. 
On the right, you will get Thunderbolt 4, a Type-C, and an SD card reader. On the left, you will get two standard USB 3.2 Gen 2, a 3.5mm combo jack, and that webcam lock switch. Move to the rear and you get your power input, HDMI 2.1, and surprisingly enough, an RJ45 Ethernet port. In essence, it's a really beautiful design, especially coming from MSI. But now let's put all that aside and talk about the meat of things, the specifications and the performance. There are many different configurations available for the Stealth GS77, being able to fit with up to the latest 12th gen Intel Core i9 and GPUs ranging from the RTX 3060 all the way up to the RTX 3080 Ti. For our configuration, we have the Core i7 12700H, the RTX 3070 Ti with 105 watts of power, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and 1 terabyte of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. Now, there are a few different power profiles to choose from via MSI Center. Super battery, silent, balanced, and extreme performance. In addition, you can turn on turbo mode for extreme performance, which basically tune the fans to maximum speed. For the creative workloads, we'll focus on all of them, well, except super battery. So, in Cinebench R23, we can safely say that the new 12th gen Core i7 performs admirably. Silent yields the lowest results as expected, but it really is silent and the fans did not spin up at all. In this mode, the CPU was kept around 30 watts, ran about 2.1 GHz, and temperatures averaged in the low 70 degrees Celsius. Change it to balanced mode and performance hits over 10K in a multi-core. In this mode, the CPU is kept around 35 watts, the fans do spin up and the temperatures are still kept within the mid-70s. Change it up to extreme performance mode and you're basically getting double the score of silent mode. The CPU is now capable of drawing a sustained 65 watts of power and temperatures will maintain in the mid 90 degrees Celsius while running at 2.9 GHz. Now if you go ahead and flick on turbo mode, performance rises yet a little more, now nearing 14K thanks to an additional 5 watts of sustained power and clock speeds just above 3 GHz. Temperatures however remain the same in the mid 90s despite the maximum fan speed. For DaVinci Resolve, the results are as follows. Even on the balanced power profile, the Core i7 in this machine still managed to render the 4K 10 minute project in basically real time, while upping it to extreme performance or turbo mode will make it faster than real time. We then come to gaming, the main focus of this laptop. We tested on two main resolutions, 1080p and 1440p, and well, here are the results. At 1080p with games like CSGO or Valorant, you can expect frame rates well above 300, which makes the experience buttery smooth and just a joy to play, especially with this 240Hz display. AAA titles like Halo Infinite or even more demanding esports titles like Apex are really enjoyable as well. At 1440p, you can still expect really great performance and arguably, this resolution makes more use of the Core i7 and RTX 3070 Ti combo. The same story applies for Ray Trace titles. Thanks to DLSS 2.0 and with how games are much better optimized nowadays, you can definitely get a great experience of at least above 60 frames per second on either resolution. Now, when we talk about temperatures, both the CPU and GPU will generally hover around the 80 degrees Celsius range, and the most common power draw from GPU would be roughly 90 watts, with the occasional boost to the maximum 105 watts. At this point, you have seen the numbers, and we would say that it's overall pretty impressive, especially considering the entire package. The Core i7 is still going to perform admirably, and despite only having 105 watts of thermal graphics power for the RTX 3070 Ti, it still performed really great. Not to mention that there are many different configurations available for this very laptop, and in a sense, you can kind of choose what you prefer and perhaps more likely at a price point that you're more comfortable with. Which, speaking of, let's talk about price. This particular configuration will set you back just under 5,000 Singapore dollars or just under 2,700 US dollars if you're in the States. Honestly, I really envy you guys in the US right now because at that price, it's so much more reasonable and that much more enticing. Now, it is still going to be quite the purchase, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a 17.3 inch gaming laptop that's still pretty light, quite thin, has a variety of ports and a good display with better than average sound system to boot, there's nothing quite like the MSI Stealth GS77. The only advice I would have is to not really touch the turbo mode in general use cases, for it really provides very little uplift and performance for so much more noise. Now of course, it's not going to be perfect, nothing ever is, and personally for me my pet peeve about it is that pipe key on that keyboard which still, I don't understand, it doesn't make sense. But with that all said, 
it is still a solid gaming laptop through and through. And if you're looking for a 17.3 inch gaming laptop, this should definitely be on your list. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to, do check out the affiliate links in the description as well. If you do, thanks for the support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Till the next one. See ya.